genuine leather case for the GoPro Heroes 2 through 4. You guys can see it right here. But before we really take a look at this, we'll take a look what comes in the box. It's actually a really nice little packaging that it comes with. Upon opening, you'll see the leather case itself. We'll put that aside. Some accessories it does come with, which is a leather strap, a little booklet inside, a lens cap, We'll open it from the top and we'll take a look and it actually does come with its own adapter which allows you to have a 40.5 millimeter UV filter. It does come with a standard polarizing filter but I actually fitted it with a Hoya circle polarizing filter which is a little bit more higher quality than what it does come with. So we're going to put this aside and we're going to actually look at what it looks like on the GoPro itself. Right now I have it on a GoPro Hero 4. You can see the stitching on the side. It's all hand done. It's a very soft, fine leather. They do have brown, which is in front of us, and they have black. You can see the strap that it comes with. It's very soft leather. access to the SD card slot, the charging port, and if you flip it around, you also have access to the Wi-Fi or menu button on the side. If you take a look at the front, you have access to the screen, the mode button, and the shutter or camera button on the top. So we're going to take this apart. The polarizing filter adapter just slides right off. Just like that. You'll open the top and you could access your GoPro like that. So we're going to talk about some of the uses for this case. Really, I don't suggest using this for any video. The reason is if you take this out or any action sports, which is why someone would buy this camera, is you lose the waterproof ability. Any drop or shock proof, it, it really offers not much protection. What I would use this for and what I'm going to use this for is if I go up and hiking or take this where I'm going to be taking a lot of photos, that's when I would be using this. You could take the strap, wrap it around your neck just like a normal camera, and it'll actually come in handy. And it looks very cool. It actually is a great case, just not much for protection. So if you're going to be taking a lot of photos, definitely take this case as I think it really looks great. I'm actually going to show you my favorite everyday case for the GoPro. We'll come right back and check that out. Okay, in front of us we have my favorite vlogging setup or everyday carry of the GoPro case itself. You're looking at the Go Knuckles, which is separate from the actual housing right here, which is an aluminum housing. Both of these are sold separately and they're both on Amazon or eBay. If you're interested, I'm going to put some links in the description. The reason why I happen to love these this setup the best is you can see the case itself is made out of aluminum it's very sturdy it offers access to both the SD input and also the wireless mode button and has a great adapter on the top for a hot shoe where you could have your own microphone so it's great for vlogging the knuckle in the front offers very comfortable grip where you could forward face or rear face the camera itself and it comes with a adapter built in for a UV or polarizing filter. This happens to be a 37 millimeter whereas the case before we spoke about was a 40.5. So it's a very sturdy case again not waterproof but shock proof and has an adapter top to the front with the hot shoe which is really the reason why this is my 90% everyday carry case. So if you have any questions, I'm gonna put some links in the description. Definitely comment down below and please subscribe.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.